Okay, we're going to start off with five pounds. Okay, first of all, this bar is six feet long and approximately 20, 20 pounds itself. Let me do that again as I put the bar without any weight on the platform. All right. Now as I put the five pound weight onto the machine, it should be six times the weight I'm adding on, which will be five times six, which is 30 pounds, plus the 20 pounds, the, the bar, so that's about 50 pounds. Okay, 50 pounds, it made this snapping noise, probably the glue. Putting 10 pounds, which is 60 plus 20, which is 80 pounds. I'm going to start putting the weights over here. I'm going to go with 15 pounds. The table is starting to flex. Seems pretty dangerous, but I'll continue anyway. Table. is holding 110 pounds of weight or pressure. Now I'm going to add two 10 pound weights, which will be 140 pounds. The table is flexing, does not look safe, it's funny, <laughs> alright, um, now I'm going to go with the 25 pound weight. This is going to be 170, 170 pounds of weight. Hundred and seventy pounds of weight.
I'm going to continue. pounds it's 190 210 pounds ah. 210 pounds is the weight of the first bridge the 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 weight the first bridge held and we'll see how much this if this can take the same weight or not. We have a success. It has beat and topped the amount of weight or pressure on the bridge from the first one. This is the load machine. I put weights right here. As you can see, it's a very long bar. I zoom out. This bridge took about 210 pounds and did not show any signs of movement that I know I will review. And it has, there's no signs of any flexing from from side to side and it is not broken it is still together in one piece but I feel that it's unsafe to do any further testing on this table because it is moving the more weight I add and I don't want to break the table so this is the end of the testing so far